So what's going on guys, it's Jamie, it's Boxing. make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos like always. It's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub on my channel. So Billy Joe Saunders absolutely schools David Lemieux in David Lemieux's backyard in Canada over 12 rounds to retain his WBO middleweight title. Like this was a masterclass from Billy Joe Saunders. Like, I've been telling people for a while, Billy Joe Saunders is probably one of the most underrated, talented fighters in the UK. And you've got people saying, oh, he's an idiot. Oh, he's not that good because people don't like him in terms of his personality and stuff like that. Yeah, Billy Joe Saunders, he is a Marmite kind of, you're going to hate him. But in terms of his boxing ability, this guy is a very good fighter. Like, this guy, in terms of technical ability, could be probably the best fighter in the UK right now. Like Billy Joe Saunders just went out there and made David Lemieux look like a plodder. That's all he did. He went out there and he's made him look like a plodder. Like, David Lemieux threw 356 shots in this fight and only landed something like 65. Like, Billy Joe Saunders just absolutely dominated him. He just hit him fresh air all night long. And that's what I was telling people. I was saying, if David Lemieux just comes forward and tries to swing at Billy Joe Saunders, he's going to be hitting fresh air. And that's exactly what he did. And you've got people saying, no, he's going to knock Saunders out. Saunders can't take the power. And I was thinking, well, maybe not. But he'll have to land first. And... David Lemieux did land a couple of times clean, but, you know what I mean, Billy Joe Saunders just completely neutralised him, and he just couldn't do anything after the fight, David Lemieux was like, oh, um, Billy Joe Saunders should be embarrassed by the, like, <laughs> guys just can't take the L, like, David Lemieux, he couldn't take the L against Gennady Golovkin, even though he got absolutely dominated in that fight, like, David Lemieux is just that kind of character, he just can't take the L, he has to come up with excuses, but in this fight, he just was made to look one-dimensional when Billy Joe Saunders just went in there, was hitting and clean with a jab all night long, superior foot movement, the defence, like, everything Billy Joe Saunders was doing against um, David Lemieux was effective, he was leading with uppercuts and stuff like that, like, he was just totally in there clowning him. So, very good performance by Billy Joe Saunders, and a very good performance for a British fighter overseas in the United States, well, in Canada, but you get my gist, North America. And... Where does Billy Joe Saunders go from here now? Like obviously, he's just made a big statement on HBO. This is um, his biggest platform to date. And he just made probably one of his best performances. So, will he be targeting the Canelo Golovkin winner if that fight happens? Or if that fight don't happen, does he want Canelo Alvarez? He says that he's interested in fighting Canelo Alvarez. And that he'll sign for a fight to fight Canelo Alvarez. If it can be made. Because obviously, he was on a Golden Boy show tonight. And Golden Boy promote Canelo Alvarez, so he says after the fight with Lemieux, he can sit down with them and he'll sign a fight to fight Canelo Alvarez in May if the Gennady Golovkin fight doesn't happen with Canelo. Obviously, there's a fight with Golovkin as well out there because Billy Joe Saunders holds a title, Gennady Golovkin doesn't hold in the middleweight division, you know what I mean? And after a performance like that, you've got to say Billy Joe Saunders could get in there and, you know what I mean, give Canelo and Golovkin a tough fight. I'm not saying he could beat them guys. But I'm just saying, you know what, he could make it hard for him in there. So, yeah, very interesting performance by Billy Joe Saunders. Very good performance. And David Lemieux, like, where does he go for me? Or, you know what I mean? He's always been a one-dimensional fighter. David Lemieux just likes to rush forward. He's got terrible balance and stuff like that. He's there, he's looking to knock you out with that big power. And that power is real, but in terms of his boxing ability, this guy just isn't elite level. Like, he's an elite level puncher, in my opinion. He can punch with the best of them but in terms of his boxing ability he's just never really been there and he looks absolutely terrible at 160 pounds as well in terms of his weight he might have to go up to super middleweight he might um be interested in that maybe he'll think that the weight was affecting him tonight so yeah very interesting performance from billy joe saunders very good one masterclass in um